For me, the big part of uh, this user-friendly playing competition is adapting the playing competition to the needs and lifestyles of the customers that I talked about earlier. And what a lot of people don't appreciate is <clears throat> that the rules of the ITF have changed a lot over the last number of years, and there's many different formats and scorings that can be used. You can play matches with tie breaks, you can play short sets, you can play best of three sets, playing to four games, you can play time matches, and there's even a, a format where 30-30 uh, tennis, where people are starting at 30 all and playing three points to finish the game. So there's many different formats which can then help you adapt the product to the needs and lifestyles. For people who have very little time, it can be one format, for people with a lot of time, another. And of course, mixing these <clears throat> formats and scoring with the social dynamics that we talked about before of what people want from, from the sport. But we need to see that we need to adapt the product to the needs and lifestyles. And for me, at the club level, it's very important that the clubs are organizing <clears throat> a calendar of events, and not just at club level, but all the way from international to national and club level. And uh, for me, this should be at all ages and levels. And of course, all of the playing competitions should be link linked to rankings at the highest level, but ratings at the club level. So people feel that they're moving up from a, a uh, 6.2 to a 6.4, etc. And this motivates people to uh, keep playing. For me as well, the, at the national level, it's very, very important, I think, for people to uh, move away from the knockout uh, system where, um, for me, it doesn't make sense for in a tournament where 32 players come on the first day and then 16 players go home after the first three or four hours. You can imagine for the young child who comes with their friend to play the tournament and their friend goes home and they stay on. It, 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 we might think that they're happy that they're still in the tournament. But maybe they're miserable because their friend's gone back. So. For me, the, the, the placement system or the feed-in system where everybody plays a singles every day and at the end of the tournament, there are different points for first, second, third, fourth, all the way down to 31st and 32nd. The other thing I think should be done away with it, we should never use the word consolation anymore or lucky losers. These are terrible words. What I want to call it is placement matches and you treat all of the players with respect. So the player playing for 31st and 32nd place is still important customer and they're being treated like that and maybe they sometimes play on the front courts and not on the back courts but the key thing is every player is playing the same amount of singles matches so we need to adapt the product to the needs and lifestyles of the customer the customer is never wrong so if the customer is not coming to the tournaments or is not uh, buying the product of tennis we need to adapt the product either the content or the actual marketing or the packaging to make it more attractive. 